What's up, y'all? JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about, it's actually a really, really important tip. Might be one of the most important tips you're going to get uh, this year from me. I've made this before, but I'm starting to redo some videos because we got a lot of new followers and whatnot. And some people might not be able to go back far enough to see these videos. Uh, so we're going to remake them. So now I'm going to talk about the feel of your bowling ball and putting tape in it and why it's so important to have tape and what you can do to change the feel of that ball uh, and make it come off your hand earlier or later, depending on what you're looking for. And we're going to talk about all these things here in a minute. So stay tuned. All right, so one of the most important things you're going to have to figure out is where to put the tape for your bowling ball. And I know there's a lot of you out there who just, you can't stand the feel of tape. You don't like the grippiness, you know, and, and you want to make the, th the thumb hole just perfect to where you don't need tape. And some people have that old saying of, well, if you're, you're not a good pro shop person if you can't make the, the hole fit properly without tape. And I think that's the one of the most ridiculous things to say. I think that's silly because I think tape is the most important tool in your bag uh, because you can change the way it comes off your hand and there's going to be days where your hand is different. In fact, every single day your hand is going to be a little bit different. You're either going to be swelled or shrunk depending on the weather, the humidity, how much salt you had in your diet the night before. Have you, did you have a couple of beers? Are you currently drinking a couple of beers? These type of things are going to affect the way your hand swells or doesn't swell. Lymphatic fluids building up in the knuckles, trying to protect itself. There's all kinds of things that go into this. So having tape in your ball is super important. Plus, it gives you the same feel every time. You've got oils on your hands. You know, you got the, you know, dead skin, stuff like that come off inside the thumb hole. So it starts to smooth the thumb hole out. I know when you drill, first drill a thumb, uh, especially a switch grip outer, it's kind of rough to start. And then as you use it, it smooths out. You're putting oil in the ball, your dead skin in the ball, dirt, grime, stuff from the ball return, all kinds of stuff get in that thumb hole. So I want to talk to you about, I'm going to put this in here. Let me lower this down now so you can see what the heck I'm doing. But I want to talk to you about uh, where to put tape inside your thumb hole. For me, the way I look at this, I always use three quarter inch. Unless you have a massively big thumb, I really don't see a reason to use one inch tape. Um, Three quarter inch is plenty big enough. But what we're looking for, like for me, I have an oval. So if I draw a line here, you can see my oval is going in this direction. All right. So you can see there, my flat spot is right off of this corner right here. So if I put tape in here, if I start it at the very top, like this here, right up at the top of the bevel, where you can see there's not much room. You got less than, there's maybe a sixteenth of an inch towards the top. What that's going to do is with your thumb here, is this going to put most of the pressure here. As you lower the tape, you're lowering where the pressure gets put on there and you're slightly changing the pitch. So by putting it so high to the top, you're actually changing the pitch a little bit to where it possibly is making it almost like it's more forward than anything. Now, it's really... I guess I shouldn't say it's changing the pitch, but it makes it feel like it's more forward than anything uh, because it is kind of, it's, it's, it's stretching your span that little bit of what that piece of tape is, like a, a, a 64th of an inch basically is what it is, something along those lines. So um, as you go down, the next piece of tape you're going to put in, and I don't recommend, like, I don't want your thumb hole to be so big to where you need five, six pieces of tape. You know, two or three at most is good because then you can manipulate how it feels. But as you go in and you put your next piece in, that piece should be just a little bit lower. You see how that has it just a pinch lower than the other one? That's what we're looking for there. So when we do that, we can actually make it to where uh, it comes off our hand a little bit faster. When I do this, when I have customers or I have students that come in 
and they say, man, I can't stop squeezing it or the ball won't come off my hand, I always add tape and they always look at me like I'm crazy. They're like, why do you keep adding tape? And I always have to tell them, trust me. And then they start throwing shots, their first couple hang up, and I put another piece of tape in, and all of a sudden the ball starts coming off faster and faster because now I'm manipulating the shape of the hole. Plus, by tightening up the thumb hole, people are able to then relax. Instead of being death gripped like this, now they can, they, they're forward, they're mentally, they're, they basically feel like, okay, if I don't relax, then the ball's going to hang up on my hand. So now the tightness of the thumb hole makes them actually relax their hand a little bit, so it works out pretty good. But remember, so the, the key to this is, the lower you start that first piece of tape, so if I take this, like, so let's say now it's hanging up too much in my hand. Dang it, get back up there. So now let's say it's, it's hanging up on my hand. I want it to actually come off faster. So I'm going to take the pieces of tape, both pieces, and I'm just going to lower them down just ever so slightly. So I'm going to put these down now right here. Now you can see how much lower that tape actually is. You can see it's actually just a little bit lower. So now it's an eighth of an inch below the top of the ball at the bevel instead. And that starts to put the pressure a little bit further down here rather than all the way up here. So it gets to start here. So it actually releases slower or faster, I should say. So what I want you to do is the next time you guys go practice and you're trying to mess around with how the ball's coming off your hand, if you want to get it rolling forward more, put some tape in it and put it lower so that way it comes off your hand faster. For those of you that are struggling with getting the ball off your hand or getting the ball off your thumb quicker, this is going to be another key thing for you. Start putting some tape lower in that thumb hole and put it down and taper a few pieces down. It's almost essentially going to like taper your thumb back so it's going to make it to where your thumb kind of presses back a little bit. So uh, try these things. If you want to get into it and stay a little bit longer in the ball, then put the tape higher. So try these things. Uh, let me know how this works for you. If you've already done this, you know, let me know how important tape is to you uh, in the comments below. Um, other than that, I'm getting out of here. Make sure to go order these books that I have. Uh, we've got books available over at BowlerX.com. We've got them all right here as well in the pro shop. If you want, come get one. Um, but you can get them over at BowlerX.com as well, and I ship them out to you. So that's all I got for you. Until next time, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you guys later.